What is going on everybody and welcome to the channel. Today's episode is going to be all about that base building. <laughs> So, guys, without further ado, we're going to jump right into it. Uh, what we're going to be doing is trying to get our anti thylacolio defenses complete and done. We got the ramps along the bottom with the spikes. Uh, we don't have all the spikes, but we got spikes on part of it. So that's part of the chore is going to be farming hide to get the spikes. We got a lot to do. But as you can see, we've got the wall all the way around the base. And I've got one layer of ceilings all the way around to hopefully keep the thylas from jumping over them. Because thylas are going to be the big issue this season. So what we're going to try to do today is finish the interior part of that wall and get the second layer of ceilings around and then try to get the door frames on them to give it the castle look and the extra protection and, you know, a place to stand, sh like move into the door frame, shoot, move back to the hiding in the door frame kind of thing. So we're going to work on that today and we're going to try to get this thing, um, not completed, but we're going to try to make some progress on that, on this today. So without further ado, we're going to jump right into it. We've been up all morning. They had all these ceilings put down as thatch, so I went ahead and replaced them with the stone ceilings I already had crafted for it. I don't know why they used thatch when we had stone ceilings, but, you know. <laughs> we got our handy and handy builder ever, so we just went ahead and picked the thatch ones up. Oh, I don't know why I came back inside, but let's go, uh, let's go put these ceilings down. Our ceilings. I cannot talk today. Don't mind me. Do you smell eggs? No. Alright, so we're going to start putting these walls down uh we've already got our outline for the interior wall we went down we did that yesterday oh we're missing one here let's get our right snap point oh that was it nope nope there we go get our snap point there uh grab a lot oh, i got a door right there <laughs> oh well all right but we're gonna go around we're gonna try to um fill these walls up we'll get some more ladders put around so people can get up top but we need all these walls so we can put our second layer of ceiling easier and we could do it without these walls for now or like right now but it would make it hard to say like does the ceiling go here it's just that wall gonna come up trigonometry math early morning math not working so we're gonna put the walls down instead uh we're definitely not gonna have enough walls to do the whole thing we're gonna use all the walls we have in our whoops smithicator and break some of them have to craft more per the usual what's going on right here i don't like this i don't like this one bit let's see what's going on Let's get out the old handy dandy building over and see why these are offset here. I think that one might be on that one instead of this one. Let's check. We got to make sure it's all OCD friendly as well. Okay, so okay, I see what we had to do. So what we're going to do is we want to put it on this foundation. We're going to hit E to flip it and make them all nice and even. So I was like, what numbers? I usually keep my building helper on six and I keep hitting the wrong one. So we're going to go ahead and go, go around and get all these uh, walls put on and we'll BRBs as soon as we either, one, run out of walls or two, um, finish. I think we're going to run out of walls before we finish, but we'll BRBs in just a moment. All right, guys, we are back. We ran out of walls pretty quickly, so we're crafting some more. I came over here looking at the smithy, thought I was going to have to farm some stone, but there was actually almost, a, well, almost a little over a stack of stone in here. So we're crafting some stone walls. I think we're crafting like a, something like 150 stone walls. Hopefully that's enough. I can't carry them all at once because we actually have less points or less increase in weight per point this season than usual because the stack mod is a 90 percent weight reduction instead of a 50 percent weight reduction that is normally run on um nerd parade servers but unfortunately that doesn't affect already built structures like walls so they weigh a lot so we have uh it's a little more balanced we can carry a lot of resources but we can't carry a lot of like building materials and stuff on us so it's a little balanced um but the stack mod we were using is no longer being updated so we had to switch stack mods and this is the best one we could find that we're using and it was a 90 percent weight reduction but still gives us our 5,000 stack that we're used to so it's what we're going with but we're going to wait for these walls scrapped up and then we're going to go place some more walls down and try to get our um our wall going our, our our exterior city defense wall going and make it look all pretty like all right guys i'm back we're over here by the front gate this is the main entrance to our bait bait our base let me show you what we're working with here uh, where we're talking about this is the only path that leads up to the actual green obelisk so this is where we're working at this is our main base we're gonna have to put it, probably a second gate right here and i've left kind of a, a room to double reinforce that there there's still a little thatch there but we'll get that replaced with, with uh, stone walls well right now boom no not no okay we'll get that replaced with stone walls later when we grapple up there but first we're gonna start we're gonna keep making our way uh around and get as many of these walls that we just craft or yeah crafted or got crafted what is going on with this there we go we're gonna get as many of these walls placed down as we can and see how much progress we can make going around our base this whole wall is backwards it's gonna kill my ocd we can't be having none of this tisk tisk there we go uh oh 
<laughs> now we're stuck in. All right, there we go. We'll pick up a wall. All right, but we're going to keep going around, guys. We're going to montage it a little bit, and I hope you guys enjoy. We'll be back as soon as we're done placing all these walls. All right, guys, we're back. We are out of stone. We are out of resources, as is going to be happening a lot this season. <laughs> but I'll show you what we got. We got quite a bit of the interior wall done up front. We got all the way around here and all the way over to behind the greenhouse. Let's run back here. All the way over to behind the greenhouse, along this wall, and to right there is where we had to stop. So I think our next, pro our next project is either going to be to... I think we'll probably finish this with walls before we start the ceilings, because we've already at least got the one layer of walls with ceilings on them already on the outside. So I think I want to finish the complete second layer of uh, ceilings or walls before we really worry about the second layer of ceilings. As you can see, you can jump down in the wall because there's no ceilings on that yet. But I think I want to finish the second layer of wall before I finish ceilings. Now we had some ceilings already made up, so I went ahead and threw them down up here. You can kind of see what we're going for. We have an overhang on both sides to keep tiles from jumping um, in. But also if they get in, it keeps them from jumping out. So it's kind of a balanced system. I think it's going to work pretty well. But we've got our one row of ceilings along the outside already to keep them from jumping in, or at least hopefully keep them from jumping in. And then we're going to put door frames along both sides, inside or outside here, and then on the parts that have the double walls. I can show you. Kind of like we did on the other end, there's going to be a door frame there. So there'll be a door frame on both sides. It's going to look very castle-like, which was is the kind of the whole theme for this game of Obelisk season is the Game of Thrones style building and uh and castle-like structures and stuff. So we're going to be doing this to the whole thing. Let's, we'll camo it up here. Kind of show you that it, see, see it looks like a castle. I, I, I personally love the way it looks and it actually serves a purpose of the anti-thylacolio uh, intrusion. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy, but we're going to go see uh, what other shenanigans we get to do. Maybe we might have to go do some uh, farming or some stone. We seem to have uh, a surplus of wood going on because somebody is out there farming wood, it seems, 24-7. And we've got a, a decent amount of thatch. So we're probably going to go farm some stone if the dodo gets here, unless somebody's already farming stone. But we'll be Arby's as soon as we figure out what we're doing next. Uh, we got our, our refrigerated chemistry bench going. Finally, the AA refrigerated chem bench. We have it. We've been farming like crazy mad people today. And I am currently hoarding. As you see, I have we've got enough stuff to make two mind wipes. So a mind wipe wants to hold enough weight and wants to mind wipe back to my normal stats. But I'm hoarding all the materials we need to make an industrial forge in my inventory. And I've got to try working hard for it. They've been spending all our resources on guns and bullets and having fun PvPing. Which is all fun and I'll let them do it for the first couple of days. But we're down to the point where we've got to get a forge going. So we've taken control. We've told the tribe, hey, you're not getting any more metal until we get a forge going. So we've got the tribe out farming right now. I'm sitting in base um, uh, crafting stuff to try to get us leveled up for XP. As you can see, we've been grinding the crap. The absolute crap out of wood and stone all day in the grinder, and we've hit level 85, and that's why we were able to make the convention. And we're about to make the forge. As you see you here, we just, uh, we, for the AA Industrial Forge, it's the same mats as, or materials, as a uh, vanilla Industrial Forge, except for 
no oil. It takes no oil to make an AA industry forge. So the only thing we're waiting on right now is the metal. Now they've been crafting and I've been going around collecting and putting in my inventory just so some of the people, we've got a lot of people in the tribe this season. It's hard to control everybody when they want to do their own things. So what I've been going around doing is just, uh, I've been going around, I've been emptying the forges as they smelt so nobody can steal the metal and make flak or whatever. The only thing we're using it for is making tools so we can get out in metal. So if somebody says, hey, my pick's broke, we'll make them a new pick. But more or less, we are we need 2,500 metal ingots to get a forge going. And we want to get the AA industrial forge going because it's not like a normal industrial forge. Nick's got the crafting multiplier and the forge melting speed multiplier turned up for this server because waiting on metal to smelt is just boring. So we've got that turned up. So having one single uh, AA industrial forge, I think with Nick has it, it's the same as having four or maybe six vanilla industrial forges. So it is well worth the effort. It takes a lot to get that much or that many materials on this uh, low rate server, but it's more than well worth the server. We all, uh, effort. We only need one. So we got everybody, literally everybody out farming metal, except for one person, uh, Mike. Mike is out farming poly because you see we're still 76 polymer short of an industrial forge so we're gonna keep getting this going and we're gonna try to get an industrial forge uh going on but we'll show you what else is new with the base today we got some signs uh tribes daily goal indie forges grind mats and put in the fabricator do not use them uh i've taken over the fabricator job the fabricator's job of holding metal or holding mats because people can't seem to keep their hands off them but that's part of dry life we've got a grinder this is the first thing we made as soon as we could because this is the absolute best way to level up we've we ground metal or metal we ground wood and um thatch all or wood and stone all day you see all the thatch we had now we already used all the flint to make spark powder because we've been making ammo like crazy so we've been very very busy today uh grinding out levels and uh, we actually, I got, an, I got enough uh, woolly rhino horns and black pearls. I made six broth of enlightenments put, and I was using them. Oh, and I was using those for the XP boost while we were grinding the entire time. We were able to get away with just six. I almost ran out of broth of enlightenments. I had like a hundred seconds left on it after, uh, after I hit level 85. And then I also made the toilet here, which was actually a lot of metal. It's 180, but you see you get uh, 120 seconds, two minutes of XP boost off the toilet as well. So we were doing everything we could to hit level 85 today because we want to get that forge. And if you don't know how the AA forge works, I already told you it smells faster. But when you bring raw metal back on a dyno, it automatically pulls the metal off the dyno and puts it in the forge for you. So it's super easy. And then you can put ingots in the vault and it'll pull the ingots out of the forge for you. And it makes oil into gasoline so much faster. We've actually, our generator has ran out of gas like four times a day and we've had to make gas runs. So it's it's been a struggle today, but uh, we'll show you what else we got going on here. We We've got the... Uh, outer edges of the wall completely done. As you see here, we got the door frames all the way around the base here. It's pretty cool looking. I'm not gonna lie. It looks, it, it's very castle-esque. We'll get a, we'll get a K mode going here and show you guys what we're working with. There you go. <laughs> That's from the side. It actually looks the really, it looks the best from the front. So we'll, we'll run up here and show you what we got going on. I'm very happy with how this turned out. It's going to have some stuff added to it. It's not done done, but uh, this first part of just walling off and making it thylacolio resistant is done. As you see, it looks really cool. The greenhouse is our tallest structure right now, but eventually that one in the middle, the core of the structure will eventually be the tallest part of the base. Who's this? Somebody is in our path. Oh, I almost shot him. <laughs> it's friendly. Oh, he's lucky I had to reload or I would have domed him. <laughs> but that will be the tallest point. That way, that's not outlined and citing anything. But the biggest trouble we've had, you see we put spikes up there. They were running up there with their thylacolios and jumping into the base. And they've been sitting up there shooting. Now, they're still sitting up there shooting because they can sit all along the side. So it's something we're going to have to work on defending uh, quite a bit. We've got, uh, and other things we've got, we've got uh, a pair of breeder thylas finally. Which we really got. We just got twin females out of them, which is amazing. But we've got this little thatch hut here for protecting our dinos because with the increased, or reduced structure damage during non winter times or non purge times, thatch is actually really hard to break. So we've got that one, and then we've got our little breeding hut over here where we're breeding thylacolios. Kind of show you what we got going on here. Here's the two little babies. We got two level 159 thylacolios. They're going to be imprinting to the best of, of their ability. And we finally can start uh, getting out. Let me put my gun away before I actually shoot one in the face. We can actually start getting out some thylacolios, which is awesome. 
And it looks like Rex and Gangsta have imprinted them. But hopefully they don't take them out and get them killed before we have the chance to breed them again. I'm sure as soon as they turn into adults, since they are both female, they'll rebreed them with the, with the parent to try to get a... Well, to get, to get offspring, but to try to get maybe some health mutations. And another big change we've made to the, day, the base today, we had some people here skirmishing with us. They actually brought this eyeless but couldn't get in, which was awesome. But I went around while they were here because we didn't really, like, short of being on top, we didn't really have a good place to snipe them. So I put in some gates here so we can snipe down the entrance. We can snipe up there. Um, and there we're sniping up on those pillars. So you can sit back here and snipe the people down low without having to worry about getting sniped by people up there just by simply, you know, doing that. So we got these um, all the way. We're going to be putting these all the way around the base. And I'm probably going to put some up like here with little ladders and platforms. We're going to make this outer core of a base like the actual outer core of a base of a castle where it's used extremely defensively. But, well, it'd be easier to, to just tell you there. I'm not going to run all the way back around. I need to put more doors in here. We don't have that many doors around the inside yet. So we're going to have to put more doors inside. I got a canteen going. I hate not having a canteen. But on the other side of those walls is also another set of those windows which I can show you from the outside. I've double checkpointed the entrance here instead of just having the one gate. So we've got the two. So you can wait for that to get closed, open this gate, and then you have your checkpoint so they can't run straight in the base. But as you see, we've got the windows there. Whoops. And we've got the windows there. So we've been mega fortifying the base today and getting a lot of progress done. So we're going to get, we're going to keep, not get, <laughs> we're going to keep progressing. Oh, we got a cage. We're going to keep compressing, compressing. Oh my God. It's been a long day. We're going to keep progressing towards the uh, Indie Forge or Industrial Forge, the AA Industrial Forge. And we'll get back to you guys as soon as we have it. So we'll be our in just a minute. 2,000 years later. All right, guys, we are back. We've been sitting here emptying the forges for the better part of like an hour. So we're going to, if my calculations are correct, we've got everything we need to craft this forge. And we're going to bop, bop, maybe. Oh, there we go. Bop, 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 and bop that in there. Oh, yeah, look at that sweetness. Look at that beauty. <sighs> That's like the biggest sigh of relief. How far away from this? Electronics and metal ingots, not bad. But that's like the biggest sigh of relief. We've got the forge, and I already know where I want to put it, so we're going to be moving this here. Somebody keeps putting dang chairs everywhere. <laughs> Let's go break this chair. Uh, keep breaking them. Anything in here? Yeah, some crap. All right, we're going to pick up this here grinder. And... Where'd it go? There it is. All right, it's time for the moment of truth. We must get it centered, though. All right, let's do this. Oh, it needs to be turned a little bit. Oops, we must make this OCD friendly. Uh, wrong button. <laughs> Luckily, none of those I just hit were K. All right, are we getting closer to being flat? Pretty good on that side. How are we on this side? Uh, okay, so we need to move a little bit closer to the wall, which I think is this way. That's pretty good. I like that. Boom! K camera off. Ah, we have our forge. So now it's time to build a helper all these bad boys and grind them up. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, and boom. We're going to go ahead and take all the stuff that was in them. Throw it all up in our inventory, and we're going to be repurposing this area up here that was forges. This is going to become our new crafting area, and then the area down here, where we've currently got our crafting, is going to become vaults. All vaults. Uh, you know, once we get some metal and stuff to make more vaults, we've got two right now. Uh, but that, that's going to become vaults. So right now, oh, I missed three. We're just going to get all this picked up. We're going to transfer it into the normal forge. What? Okay. Uh, I always hesitate when I hit the button. I think I hit it too early and nothing picks up because I always think it's lagging and it's going to pick up in a few minutes, which would suck because let me pick up part of the base. All right, so let's transfer everything in there that can be. And we're going to put our grinder up here in our crafting area. Where's our grinder? There it is. So our grinder's going to go up here. Let's get this nice and, uh, nice and, whoop, where'd it go? Where is it? Oh, is it invisible in KK? Am I blind? All right, you're seeing this too, right? I'm not playing. <laughs> okay, I guess we're going to place the grinder not in K-Cam because evidently it's invisible when it's in K-Cam. So the grinder's going to go up here. Oh, that's that's not going to work. Let's let's try that again. It must be OCD friendly. This is why I usually use K-Cam. K-Cam's not working for me. There we go. Is it sticking through the bottom? Nope. All right, we're good. We're good. I like it there. Uh, it's only on one ceiling, but eh, it's all right. Ah. Uh, much better. So let's put all this 
crappity crap back in there. Put it all in there. We're gonna turn it on and we're gonna grind all. Get all our sweet precious resources back out of that crap. And then we'll drop the rest of that later. But yeah, we'll see. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna re rethink our storage area here while we've got the increased weight. Let's move this bad boy over here into the corner. Like so. We're gonna feng shui the crap out of this base. Let's see here. Let's pick up the spoiled meat. Ben. Like I said, we're putting all of our crafting up top, so we're gonna go ahead and get, get started with moving everything while we're here. Might as well, right? Let's put that in there. Let's turn all this back on. Since it is refrigerated, we can just store it in here. Uh, I'm not sure if that thatch was in there, but it's going in there for now. Uh, I kind of like this here, although I think we're gonna turn it sideways and put a roll, 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 a roll of them. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and turn it sideways. Boom. Let's make sure we're centered here. And we're gonna. Okay, I think when you're in K code, K code, K mode, it's going through the floor or something. It's weird. All right, but we're centered enough, I think, right here. Otherwise, your bow is in the way. Loki's your boa. Oh, that's not straight. All right, we're gonna put this on the hot bar because I think we're gonna be picking it up <laughs> one or two times probably. All right, we're gonna line it up with the edge. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go from this side. All right, Loki, we gotta move your boa. Go right over there. We're gonna go on from this side. That way the anvil is uh, facing the uh, off side, if you would call it. No, not straight. Uh, we don't want to ruin our ocd -ness. Let's try that. Is that close enough? No. <laughs> We're doing bad. We're doing real bad. Uh, I hate lining stuff on stone because there's no straight edges to align it with. Because a stone crack is wavy. Nah, it's close enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's about how far my OCD goes. All right, let's take all this. Pick this one up. And we're going to go one on each side since we're, we're up to three. We've only got the one fabricator, but we're up to three uh, smithy cators. What am I doing? It's on my hotbar. We're up to three smithy cators already. So we're going to get all three put up here in a row. Like the so. Uh, might as well go in and empty it. I don't want to transfer all because I want to keep my stuff. I need, I need to make sure nobody uses my mind wipe before I can mind wipe back to my normal loadout. Because I don't think we have the stuff. Actually, I know we don't have the stuff to make another mind wipe. So we got to be careful. All right, got that. Boop. I want to make sure we get the fabricator first. without That would be a real feels bad if we picked up the bottom without picking up the fabricator first. That would suck. Killed by a Sarko. Jeep. Not Jeep. He was, he was so young. He had his whole life ahead of him. All right, we're gonna for my for my OCD ness. It's not a permanent thing, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, Smith, Smith. We're gonna go ahead and oh, there's you. With the respawn, with the respawn of shame, we're gonna go put that one on the middle one, because why not? Power it on. Let's throw the rest of the crap back in here. Blah 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 blah. blah. So much stuff. So much stuff. We're gonna have to organize with vaults once we get some vaults going. This is killing my OCD so much. <laughs> and those pearls were in the fabricator, so we'll put those back in there. All right, let's continue moving our crafting supplies to the top. Uh, storage, cementing paste. Did we get a snail? Uh, a snail must have got too close. Cause we, or we got one, I'm not sure. I doubt we got one, because we, I don't think we're that close to... That close to... Um, actually, we're going to put this here. I don't think we're that close to veggie cakes yet. Uh, I think we have some, somebody said we had taps up, so I'm pretty sure we have taps, but I don't think we have any, uh, bees, unless somebody went and broke a beehive. Maybe we got a snail. I don't know. Uh, part of the, part of the big tribe life, we are constantly getting things or new things without actually like seeing that we're getting the new things. Actually, we're going to put that up top. Let's take our OCD or uh, OCD, our AA workbench, our OCD workbench and put it up top here. Uh, excuse me, cheap. We're going to put our AA workbench right about ya. And throw the crap in there. <sighs> there was organic poly in Oh, that was for me. I'm a bad boy. I didn't put the organic poly back in the organic polymer crate. But that's okay. I'll do it in there. And then we're going to put this right in the middle of our little platform here. Boop, boop. Activate that. And we're going to pick up the rest of our crafting supplies. Like, oh, we got, well, we have four smithies. <sighs> mm. When did we get another one? All right, let's pick that up. 
Let's pick that up. I don't know why we need four, but okay. We don't have fabricators yet. Usually we don't start mass producing smithies until we have um, a mass amount of fabricators to make bullets, which, you know, you end up needing. But usually not this early in the game. We don't have more than one or two smithies, but maybe they were all crowding around one smithy and decided to make more. I don't know. I'm not one to judge, but we'll go ahead and uh, throw all this crap back in there. I'm, we got way too many. We only need the one AA workbench. I think we were using those uh, as storage early on, but I'm going to grab these extra ones here and probably grind them for the resources. Whoops. Let's see if we have any more. Let's grind these AA workbenches for uh, for the resources. They're not much to make, but every resource is uh, matters at this point. A little bit of hide, a little bit of crap. Anything in here? Yeah, I knew we had one more. Okay. Let's... Boom. Some of you guys are probably watching my screen because you see me dragging stuff in. I like doing that on recording to let you guys see where I'm moving stuff. But if I'm not recording, I actually have a macro on my mouse to do that for me. I have a T macro on my mouse, and I just hit it with my thumb to transfer stuff. But on stream, I like to drag just so you guys can see where I'm moving stuff to and from. Makes it a little nicer for you guys, I think. Okay. Actually, yeah, we're going to move this because, we, we, like I said, we want this area down here to solely be the more or less storage area, not crafting. I would consider the... Uh, Preserving banner crafting, but I'm going to put it with the kitchen stuff instead. Because I, I think it's also more more kitchen-y than crafty-y. Crafty-y? Crafty-y. I like it. Hello, Jerboa. Oh, that thing is a lot skinnier than it looks from the front. Let's line it up with the fridge. There we go. That's good enough. It looks like it's fatter than the fridge, but evidently not. Boop. 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 All right. We've got our preserving bin, our generators right in there, in case you were wondering. Oh, let's move our SE Plus Crafter. Uh-oh. And pick up. Up here to our uh, handy-dandy crafting area. I love the SE. This is my favorite crafter in the game. Uh, not just because I made it, because I love love how it looks. It, uh, <laughs> I love the, the look of the, like, Egyptian... Uh, I don't even know what that thing is called. The Egyptian crafter thingy majiggery. Later. We should, we have an, yeah, we have an okay amount of walls and ceilings. Uh, not a ton, because we used a lot for that outer wall, but we needed okay. to get Thylas out of here. Mm, yeah, I see. I'm going to take 100 stack. Oh, no, I won't be able to take 50, 100 take 50. Out. Well, I, I can take 50 at a time. Yeah, I can't, I can't even take that. I've got a bunch of gear on me here, so let's do... I'm going to put this in. Screw it! You know what? I'm putting it in, in, in building. Nobody builds... So nobody checks the building vault. So obviously you'll be safe here. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna make everything else pull in there. Oh, okay. Here, I'll transfer it in. And you take it then. Okay, <laughs> I'll put it in the respective vaults. Perfect. Actually, I'll just Since put it in the AA workbench. I don't know why there's freaking rocker root in there. Uh, <laughs> feels good. All right, I've got Blitz in here. He's guiding my hand. All right, now I can move. Uh, I just need. To, we need to. <laughs> freaking farm mind wipes so we could just do building i actually farmed two earlier because i said i was holding the mats i had i couldn't hold all the mats so i had to get two mind wipes going just to simply hold the mats <laughs> you cheeky devil you and this guy who is that somebody's where we're oh i don't have a spyglass you want to take shots at him i do i if, am if you, if you, oh, oh God, it's green it's, it's green. green dang <laughs> it <laughs> you sound so disappointed. I was. Oh, I wanted to kill somebody. I wanted to shoot somebody's face. I got this Fabby and I haven't got to use it yet. Wait, you actually got a Fabby already? Yeah, me and Gangsta got Fabbies. Oh my god, you're killing me. I want to get out there and do some PvPs now. <laughs> but the base build takes priority. We have to have a defended base before we can go out and play with our new toys. Yeah, that's Sunken Foundations over there. Oh. Huh. But not uh, much. It'll be aight. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. It's been a long day. I don't, I don't think it, that threw me off, actually. I don't think it'll matter too terribly much. It'd be uh, right. No, your door like popped up in my face and scared me. Ah, oh, Nick's wasting resources. Ban him. Uh, Ban him from the tribe. Time, every time I build, that happens at least <laughs> once. It happens, it happens to the best of us. I don't know what I could tell you. Oh yeah, well, well we should, um, since it's going to be really tall, ever, yeah. we should spiral windows up it. So like go up one and over, up one and over, all the way up. So it looks like there's a spiral going up it, which we could oh, do after we're done. That's interesting. It would be cool looking. And you what could do more than one. You could do like several of them. Spine a bit. Oh, 
Okay. Not the low. Spina, did you say Spina Bifida? <laughs> yeah, that's in a movie, and I can't remember which one. <laughs> that's like, that's this. oh god, don't, don't screen freeze me right now. That's the spinal cord thing, right? Yeah. Spinal tap. We could name it Spino Spina Bifida. Now we have to tame one and name it Spina Bifida. <laughs> I think it was like Ricky Bobby or something like that. For, re for reasons. For reasons. For reasons. All right, guys, we are back in action. We're crafting up a bunch of arrows. I th uh, I've been told the Thyla has been dragged. I, th I keep saying Thyla. Therizino. <laughs> Therizino. Yeah, he's doing we've, bad. We've lured him in right below the base. Okay, I'm parachuting down, but I'm crafting arrows all along the way. I'm going to come in and help. Got narcotic on me. Yeah, other side. He's oh, over I here attacking you. this little one by box thing. I got gotcha. you. Uh, I think I Pickle you. Ricks is unloading on him as well. I'm going to stop that, that queue. Start this queue. I love the new got, music. Yeah, it's it's actually pretty nice. Okay, I'm coming in. Coming in hot. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here. I don't have anything. <laughs> just watching. Oh, your, support, your moral support. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm just distracting the Therizino. You know. Hello, Therizino. You know. Come get me. You can do it. Ow, ouch. Be, be the tank, Blitz. <laughs> I can't take for very long. <laughs> Hello, Therese, you know. Hello. Come get me. Come get me. Oh, he's coming after you. Oh, you're stuck. <laughs> I, I am. And the worst part about oh, no. this is... Get out of the water. You don't have a grapple. I don't have a grapple. Would you be so kind as to building remote this? Oh, no. Let him be in the water for now. Oh, it's this freaking... That thing. Oh, my God. It's just walls. Yeah, it's, it's a floating one. Yeah, it's, it's walls to make them float. Ouch! Ouch! I thought this there you was go. <laughs> I could not have been more wrong <laughs> as to what that was. I was so confused. Okay. Oh, good. He's mad at the box. He's showing that box what what for. Keep showing the box what's up. I'm going to shoot you in your Thera Wiener. <laughs> okay. That was a little too... Thera Wiener. <laughs> I was shooting him in his Thera Wiener. Oh, come on. I should have got hit markers for that. Oh, come on. He moved right at the worst possible time. I just dodge, dip, duck, dive, and dodge. It's the 5D Therizino dodgeball. <laughs> dodge claw. Yeah, it is dodge claw. Oh, my God. I am I am hurting. Gravel. <laughs> I don't have my Oh, God. I was just talking about how ill-prepared I was, and I didn't do anything different this time. <laughs> It is typical of my behaviors. Okay, there we go. Oh, uh, there, there on we go. Oh, oh, he's running. Don't, no, not in the water. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, he turned. He turned. He's smart. He's smart as Eno. That's why they're my favorite dino. <laughs> tickle fingers. He's going to tickle finger your face. He's going to tickle my chicken right now. Let me in. <laughs> I'm safe. Protect me, Thatch Hunt. I oh, know he's not protected. Oh, God, I'm so done. Am I safe? Am I secret? Oh, I'm going to get out the back. Okay. <laughs> Operation. No. Oh, hold on. No, you broke my hunt. <laughs> I didn't mean to get the foundation. <laughs> I'm so going to die. Please. No. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> I directly blame you for this. <laughs> I had a chance in this life, and you destroyed it with your I blame you for all of this. I'll take blame. <laughs> it's Operation Meat. It's Operation Nick Meat Shield. <laughs> yeah. I feel bad. Uh. Oh. <laughs> all for the sake of a 130 Therizino. Worth it. Oh, totally worth it. Oh, oh no, no, no. Thought there was water underneath. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm doing great today. <laughs> I, he's not mad at me. No, get out of the water. Oh, this is terrible news. Please don't. Please don't. Come back. Please don't come back? No, please come back. Where's he going? Oh, for a second there, I thought he was going into the pillar. I was like, that's a thing? They can do that? Get him, Blitz. Make him angry at you. Make that He's scared of banner. me. I've been working out too much. He's scared of me. Yeah, he's, he's afraid of them guns. Them 22-inch pythons. <laughs> I know that I'm just going to ride his back here. Yeah. Do it. Oh, it's a Crazy. female. Ride, ride, you're going to ride her back? Oh, yeah. I scared her out of the water. Good job. No, stay away from the water. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay on this side of her. Pickle Rick's got the right idea. <laughs> She's scared at this point. She's got to be getting low on top of her. Yeah, definitely. I've got the wrong idea over here. 
I'm just gonna grapple it. Hey! And she's incognitus. Yeah, she is incognitus. I'm gonna dump a bunch of this on there. Do you have berries? I don't. Hopefully Pickle does. Uh, Pickle's going uh, back up, I assume, to get berries. Oh, or We kibble. have a ton of berries. Oh, yeah, okay. he might be getting kibble. We'll see what kibble let's they have see. and if we have the stuff to make it. Let's see. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, we're back. Sorry about the no webcam that old time. I didn't realize it wasn't on. Sometimes that happens with the OBS on me, and I have to close and reopen OBS to get the webcam to show up. So it was a webcam-free, or mostly webcam-free episode. We're back. The Chickle Ticken is tamed, and in correlation with the videos, we're going to name it. Or her. Her. <laughs> Chickle Ticken. All right, so now we can, uh, we've, I've tamed, I think we've tamed like five or six Terezinos, and they've literally all died um, so far to the other obelisk coming to fight us and usually while we're out farming we get caught off guard and get killed but we're running low on wood so we need more wood so we went out and tamed this guy and we're going to take him back to base and sorry about the lack of webcam this episode i didn't realize my webcam wasn't on that happens sometimes with the obs and usually i catch it but i didn't uh and when it happens i just have to open or close and then reopen obs but i didn't catch it until like the very end so i'm sorry there's a there was a lack of webcam in this episode guys but i hope you did enjoy the episode regardless and that's about going to wrap it up for today it's been a different kind of video it, was, it took like a good 45 minutes to an hour to tame this guy but it's been a productive day we're going to keep working or building our tower all the way up to the obelisk we're going to try to get taller than those spires that's our goal by the end of this is to get tall enough to snipe down onto those spires because that's where they seem to be attacking us from the most and i highly expect um during uh winter they will come and try to blow some of those spikes up and put maybe cannon uh cannon cannon placements up there to shoot down so you want to be able to counter that stuff so we're going to try to get this uh, tower built all the way up into the green obelisk <laughs> um before i doubt before winter but as fast as we possibly can so we're gonna go out farm some wood but we'll catch you guys in the next episode and don't forget if you did enjoy this episode guys to like the video subscribe to the channel for future content and we'll catch you in the next episode